Hey everyone, we're going to play a very special little game today called Steed. Steed is a prototype game made by John Burnham for Double Fine Amnesia Fortnite 2014. It's a really cool little event where the members of Double Fine have two weeks to come up with a little prototype game. They pitch their own ideas for it and the best ones get elected to go on to a Humble Bundle. This is one of my favorites out of the one from 2014, which had a lot of other great games in it too, so we're going to take a look at it. Let's start. Long ago, a horse named Belfire found herself in a strange land, where a guild of free horses worked as they willed, for a price. But even a steed owned by no man might enlist the aid of a boy when her curiosity outgrows her sense of self-preservation. All right. Really? Where are we going, Belle? So I get to ditch work and go to the library? Awesome. But I thought you were mad at me, you know, because of last time. The potato incident what what oh no said sorry oh so this is steed this is an interesting game because unlike other games that have horses and riders instead of playing the rider itself that controls the horse you're actually the horse so we are bellfighter uh, we don't control the boy at all right now he just sits on our back so we play the horse for hire, and the purpose is to save a storybook land full of inept humans. Isn't that interesting? So Belfire can run, jump, walk. <laughs> he gets mad because you can throw him off. You can do horsey things, like eat apples, or eat candy on the ground, drink, things like that. Again, this was a game that was made in two weeks, so there's going to be some errors, it's a little bit funky. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it's also really fun and really pretty. Look at this world. Look at this grass. Isn't it beautiful? So Twig really wants to go to the library, which is called the Mill House. That's actually a clue for where we have to go. There's some candy over here. It's actually an easter egg to one of the other games that was in the bundle. Belle is a little hard to control. Um, she doesn't turn very well or stop very well like you would expect, but again, this is an alpha prototype, so it's just, it is what it is. And I think for what they had to work with in two weeks, it's great. Isn't it lovely? I mean, look at this world. The mill is over there, and that's where we have to go. But I just want to show you a little bit more of the area first before we go on. So this is our open world. <laughs> if you really hate the boy enough... <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> it's full of a lot of humor, too. Never mind those guys for a minute in the background there. We'll, we'll get to them in a minute. I want to check out everything else. Now, Belle can also do some other things. As you see, the little guys are kind of approaching us. There's really nothing we can do about that. They're going to, no matter what, uh, if you come over here. So, they don't look too friendly, do they? So maybe we should stay away from them for right this second. Little pumpkins. I want to eat the pumpkins. Horses like pumpkins. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> You can do horsey things like shake your head. Hey! No, no, no. What's your problem? Well, if you do get attacked by something, you'll be happy to know that Belle can fight. Hitting the left mouse button. She'll kick the crap out of anybody. Right mouse button. <laughs> Kicks. Now this animation is a little jaunty. Especially if you're a horse lover like me. It's a little bit silly. But... I like it all the same. It's supposed to be comedic. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty much kicking these dudes' asses with a horse. Get him! It's just very hard to control. We did it. Well, they're all dead. That's what you get. 
anyway, like I was saying, it's a very short little game. We're only going to have a little bit to do, so let's go do it and see what happens. He wants to go to the mill. We'll take him there. He's got to get us a book. We're a horse. We can't go to the library and get a book ourselves. So we have to get this boy to do it for us. We can eat carrots. <laughs> Isn't it grand being a horse and in charge? The library. There's really no way to move the camera much. Um, that's another thing. You can move it around um, if you move the mouse a bit, but it doesn't go in and out or zoom, which is a little unfortunate. Um, so you're kind of stuck looking at the ass end of her most of the time. As Twig set off to search the stacks, Belfire was free to roam and attend to more equestrian matters. <laughs> Let's do it. So when the boy is off on a task... No problem. We can go off on our own and do whatever we want. Be horse-like. Run through the creek. Jump and kick and play. Anything. We could eat all the carrots if we want. No one's gonna stop us. There's nobody here. We can also poop. <laughs> do you guys see now why I like this game so much? It's so good, this. I have to say that even though um, the style is, is very cartoony. What a beautiful world this is. Look at it. It's so lovely. It's grass render. It just, it makes me crazy. Now the world isn't completely open to you. Um, you can go about this far and then you see that there's an invisible wall. You can't go any further. Also, uh, Belle cannot jump over fences, which seems like a thing she should be able to do. But because it's a prototype, uh, the world is very small. So, so she can't. So if you go over to a fence here, she won't be able to get over it. It's an invisible wall. But isn't it lovely to run around and be a horse in this beautiful land? It's so beautifully rendered. And a small team, I think of about three people or two, made this in two weeks. This is the kind of game I would love to see go, like, full throttle, and, and I, would, I would play a game like this all day. But you guys know I love horses, right? So, of course. It's just lovely. There's really nothing else in this prototype to interact with other than the boy and the environment right now. You can see there's some of those baddies over there too, but we don't want to really talk to those guys, do we? You can't really go up here in the creek or to the water wheel. Um, you'll probably get stuck on it actually because it's a prototype alpha. There's what? There's a lot of there's a lot of bugs. I can hear him from here. <laughs> so yeah, we can just do whatever we want. Uh oh. What's happened? So he's calling for us. We have to go. All these baddies around. Something bad has definitely happened. Help! Hurry, hurry. Uh oh. Run, run! Help, always it's the house of reading. <laughs> house of reading. Kick them all. Fight like a horse. That's all you. you've got. Books are magical. <laughs> Again, she doesn't control very well, so all you can do is kick butt in the only way a horse knows how. Always it's the house of reading. <laughs> this is such a silly game. It's so good though. The Grex had eaten the book, and the librarian. But I did find this awesome wizard tome. It's kind of hard to read. So Twig found a wizard tome, so you can press spacebar and get them with a magic spell. It needs time to recharge, but it does work. Like that. It's good that, because horses can't read magic tomes. We need the boy to do it. So how do we get out? Well, there's only one way to get out. This way. <laughs> we can't go yet, because there's one alive still. Help! What do we do? <coughs> Alright, we're busting out. Let's do it. Can we go this way? Water wheel. 
There we go. Uh oh, most horses wouldn't do this, but we're gonna do it. Belfire hadn't anticipated this turn of events. Oh no. Her mind was spinning. Uh, now you're on the water wheel. So this is really difficult to control. You really just go forward, but it's kind of difficult to control where it actually goes. But your purpose here is to run over as many of them as you can. Which is just, this is so silly. It's so silly that it's great. Run them all over. Smush them. You can go backwards too. It's just even more difficult. There's a whole bunch of them though, so you don't- You can get off this, but I wouldn't recommend it, because then you'll just be stuck on the ground trying to fight them all day. It'll take quite a bit. If you only have one or two left, then yeah, you can do it. But this is so much e I will not want to say easier, um, but you'll definitely kill them. If you wait, sometimes they'll all come in like a group towards you, and then you can get them in one big line, because they'll start to run away from you right when they get close. Which makes it a little annoying. I think you have to kill a certain number, if not all of them, to progress. And see, they can scoot right by you sometimes, because you can't really see if they're under you or not. So this segment takes a little bit of time. Come back, sir. Get back here. Now we're gonna roll over you. <laughs> this concept is so silly. I really wish this was a full game. I really do. There we go. I've done it. The fire dwindled, the Grex fled, and Belfire was no nearer to satiating her curiosity. What would she do next? What will she do? Don't be sad, Belle. It's still a beautiful day. Let's go! Yeah. Woo. Thank you for playing the Steed Prototype. Have fun exploring. So that's it. That's the Steed Prototype. So after you finish that little uh, display on the water wheel, you're free to run around as much as you want in this uh, area. So... You can go back to the mill, you can go back and run around everywhere and look at everything beautiful and, and just play. You still have the book, so you can still blast guys when they come near you, because there will still be Gex around uh, to fight if you want. Um, but what a beautiful little game, it's so lovely. Um, if you bought the Amnesia Bundle uh, 2014, definitely give this a try if you haven't. I know there were a lot of other games that were really good in it, um, but I really like this one the best. And, um, oh look, the little pink guys. This is another Easter egg here from another game in the bundle. I believe the bundle's not for sale anymore, so if you didn't pick it up, um, it might be lost to you. But I suggest you go to doublefine.com and check out the other things that they've got going on. <laughs> and, um, I'm just gonna sit here and run around and play this for the next, like, three hours because wouldn't you? <laughs> What a beautiful game. I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Wow! What the heck, Belle? <laughs>